I have a problem and 860 has the solution. Let me show you my problem. Now on my screen, I have a card view, like what our students create in our Fluid 2 and Fluid 3 courses. Now here's my problem. I want to specify a card border color and I want the color to match Oracle's chosen colors. Now actually, that isn't the problem. Finding the color and repeating the color, well, that's trivial. All I need to do is inspect some of the Oracle delivered HTML to find the CSS. But that's not what I want. You see, to make this design work, I have to write some CSS. And the more CSS I write, the more I have to maintain. So I want to write my CSS in a smart way to reduce maintenance. I don't want to hard code the color because, well, colors change. I mean, look at 860. It's clearly different from 854, 857, and so on. And this is where 860 comes in. 860 provides CSS variables. Now these variables, they're listed in a style sheet in Application Designer called PT Custom Props. And this style sheet is divided into two sections. Now one of them supplies a color name and a palette color, but Oracle tells us to just kind of skip past that and look down at the section labeled Functional Properties. Now in our scenario, we need the border color. So rather than hard coding a border color, which is subject to change, I can inherit Oracle's border color through these CSS variables. So let's see if we can find it here. So PT border, border color normal, fantastic. So I'm going to copy this functional property, not the palette, it happens to be palette 23. So what, palette 23 is probably used in several places here. We're focusing on the functional properties. Then back to the design, and I can see the border here. The border is currently set to one pixel solid. It should be coming up black because that's the default color. But I want to make it easier for us to see the difference when we type in the variable. So let's make the border thicker. And then how about going with a color that's going to contrast nicely with a, the, that's actually a good one, goldenrod, pale green. I mean, lots of great options here for colors. But what I want to do is type in var and then paste in that color variable. And you can already see the color coming in in more of a silver, silver color. That's fantastic. So just to make it more Oracle-like, we'll change it back to one pixel. But that actually brings up a good point. You see, in these variables, we can find a lot of values that are incredibly helpful to us. But I started thinking about it and I thought, but wait, I want more. I want more variables. For example, the border width is one pixel today. I mean, just looking, they match. What about tomorrow? Wouldn't it be cool if there was just a variable called, say, border standard? So instead of border normal color, maybe we had PT border standard, which had the entire border. I mean, just to give you an example, here's PT border dashed, which has it all spelled out for us. So if we want a dashed border, just like the Oracle delivered, there's an example. Oh, wait, before you use that variable though, notice where it's defined. It's actually defined in the upper section, the one we're supposed to ignore. Hmm. Well, anyways, there are others as well, such as padding and margin. Those are variables that I think would be really helpful as well. Now, there are style classes for a lot of those things, such as the PT border standard style class. But in our case, for example, we're styling something that isn't available for Map Designer. We're not attaching these style roles to an app designer definition. We are at the grid level, but through our CSS selector, we're using a nested composite selector to target a specific element buried deeper in a table. So we couldn't actually use one of the Oracle delivered style classes in this case to provide the, say, the border standard. Now, as you're looking at these variables, you'll notice the colors at the top. And it might be tempting to start modifying these colors to apply your own custom theme. Well, I'll discourage that. See, this is Oracle's file. And if we touch Oracle's file, yeah, you guessed it, we're going to have to maintain those changes that would be considered a customization. Now, can you override these colors? Absolutely. You can override CSS variables, and I would do that using the branding module instead of modifying this file directly. But the real value here is in the use of these CSS variables within our own custom CSS to reduce maintenance. But I want to know, what do you think of the new CSS variables feature? Let us know in the comments.
Now, we have a whole library of people tools tips to share with you. Check it out at jsmpros.com slash all access to get access to all of our recorded courses, videos, activity guides, and downloads. Everything. And be sure to check out our live events as well. We teach people tools topics like this every week. Or here's an idea. Do you have a group you'd like to train? Give us a call and let's get something scheduled. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content. And we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.